morning everyone today's video we're going to show you how i do solidworks on uh, space frames fitting shock absorbers so i can show you how the suspension works through the limits just a quick video nothing major if you like it i'll do some more if you don't like it let me know and i'll go back out and drive my 3 tx and do something with that if you want just let us know in the comments right so here's the space frame um I'm not going to go into too much detail with everything else, but let's just show you this. Front axle can do whatever it likes because it doesn't know anything about the other tubes there. So what we've got to do, we've got to mount this part here, which if you look here, I made very simply, uh, just like that, revolve that part round. So that's got a radius, 13 mil radius, right? That makes that, and that's the bit of the ball that the shocker is going to work against. This is obviously 12.7, the standard shocker bolt size, right? So we'll go on here, do a mate from there. I've only got one side of this bracket on, just so I can mount these shocks. I'm going to make the axle brackets this week. So, um, right, so mate that. And then get the two phases that need to touch, as you see here, because it's coincident, mate. So that's fastened on. Do the top one the same, which is hidden here. So we do the center pivot, center bolt position, and then it will be in line somewhere, which is in the middle of that tube look. So we'll get that, get that on there. Obviously, if people want to know a bit more, I can go a bit slower, but I'm trying to make it not too boring because it'll all be turning off. So this is a shocker. See the ball cut out in the shocker? That now locates that shocker like that, right? Uh, we can locate the rod on the shocker here. So you get the centre and get that. Concentric, yep, so that's in line now. And then we've just got to get that ball onto the ball here, right? Concentric. That's it. So that's all fastened on. Now, obviously, I've got no panel rod on this, and I know I haven't. And that does affect it side to side movement. But I have allowed quite a lot on this. If I'm a proper car draw out, I do the panel rods as well. But yeah, don't shoot me in the, in the comments too much. So now we need to do a limit to make this a, a 12 inch travel, this is a two and a half inch Fox coil over, but it's 12 inch travel. So, now I've got to remember how to do this myself. Linear couple, right? Is that gonna be right? Let's click on here, see what happens. Yeah, so I just clicked on that bit that says one there, and then it, I gave me two more boxes here. So we want, this face here to this face here, right? And we go total distance of 12. Now on SolidWorks, you just put 12 inch and it and it works it out for you. And go zero on that one, right? And we can put this to half travel if you want. You see it pushes it out. So I, so I clicked on advanced mates, linear couple and clicked on that. And then that's what got me. I know you can't see the mouse on here, but I think you're roughly following what I'm doing. Right, so now, in that small amount of time, what have I managed to do? I've got the suspension working how it should be working with this shock absorber lot. You can check your caster angle through the travel, which is really handy. And then on the back here, let's have a look around here. I'll get there in a sec. This is the mount here, which you can see on the video to the side, me fitting it in in real life, which takes the shocker here. Right, anyway, I'm not gonna show you more. I drew this, it's an old space frame. I drew, I've drawn it out so I can get these new mounts, new front and back on it. Uh, if you wanna see any more, let me know. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.